Are you a pharmacy aspirant? Are you thinking to get more support beside your classroom? Then stop worrying about all these now. Because Pharmacy Guide has come now at your service. If you want to join our team as a teacher and want to share your knowledge with all out there, please email us at pharmacyguide7 at the read gmail.com. Hello everyone. Welcoming all of you to my YouTube channel, Pharmacy Guide. Myself, Sakshar Shah, I'm an assistant professor from the Department of Pharmaceutical Technology, JIS University. Welcoming all of you in today's lecture video. So in this day, uh, we were talking about the cell culture, the related things about cell culture. And the topic today uh, I'm going to talk about is a very important topic, you know, when you are doing any kind of research using cell, you would like to see any kind of effect, any kind of effect of a drug on cell line. So this kind of study, when in case of cell line, in case of in vitro study, not in, not in case of in vivo, but in case of in vitro study, the today's topic is very very important. I'm sure you know the difference between in vivo and in vitro. Let me just give a brief of it. Like in vivo means in vivo research means whenever the both are animal research. Okay, so in case of in vivo research, whenever you are taking an animal, you are not sacrificing it. You are taking a whole animal. You are injecting your drug, and you are seeing the symptomatic and systematic effect on that animal that becomes the in vivo experimentation but in case of in vitro it means inside the glass tube so whenever you are taking out any kind of uh, you can say any kind of uh, tissue from the uh, from that animal or you are taking out any organ from that animal and you are under a favorable suitable environment you are doing the research on that particular tissue or cells or uh, the organ isolated tissue or isolated cell or isolated organ then that um, uh, research becomes the in vitro research so here the cell viability and vitality study only done in case of in vitro study because in case of in vivo the animal is itself leaving you are using a leaving animal so there is no need to check whether the cells are uh, you know leaving or dead right because the if the animal is leaving, the cell will always be leaving, right? But in case of in vitro study, whenever you are isolating that cell or tissue, that time the checking it is, uh, you know, checking the vitality or viability is very, very important. So what is the, you know, definition or what do you mean by vitality or viability that we need to know first? So viability means living or dead. That cell is leaving or it is dead, right? Vitality means healthy or almost dead. For an example, uh, I would like to give an example to you. Suppose a patient, a patient who is almost dying due to, maybe due to coronavirus. Let's take the example of coronavirus. Maybe that patient is dying in the hospital due to coronavirus. That patient is suffering from, uh, you know, breathing problem, restlessness or something like that. And he's almost dying. He will die very soon. And you or me, I don't have any problem like this. I'm completely fit and fine. You are completely fit and fine. So what would be your status? That you are a living person. I'm a living person. And the person who is going to be dead after a few seconds or minutes or hours or day, that person is also a living entity or living person. So the status of for three of us is same. But is it actually same? It is not. So in that case, in that case, you need to know that how much vitality that patient is, that uh, you know, person is having. So vitality defines the health of the cell, whether the cell is healthy or not. Right? So that is very important because in case of cell, I would say that if a, you, I'm sure you know the uh, terminology apoptosis or necrosis. So apoptosis means what? Apoptosis means programmed cell death. So because in our body, cells are growing, cells are generating, developing, growing. And after a few days or so, after a few time, it is also, you know, uh, it is also dying, right? Then again, new cell is taking the place of that. So this 
natural phenomenon is being called apoptosis that is programmed cell death it is now older so it will die but necrosis means whenever a cell is being dead due to some external stimulus like maybe you have got injured you have got injured here so if you have got injured here so the cells in the upper surface will be dead due to the external stimulus so an apoptotic cell is nothing uh, you know is of no use apoptotic cells are of no use for us for an experiment just like a person who's dying is just no, of no use though it sounds very inhuman but that person in practical that person is of no use the work you or me can do that person cannot do that person does not have that ability to do in the same way a cell whenever it is in an apoptotic process or it is going to be there we we, uh, we won't be able to utilize the full functionality of that cell so our research will be incomplete so it is very important not to know only about the viability but also the vitality so that is uh, so whenever we are uh, if you are going uh, you, if, you know if you are uh, knowing that cell is viable you need to know the how much vitality that cell is having next what we will see the we will see what are the different types of tests that could be done to see the cells viability or vitality so here simple viability study apoptosis test cell proliferation test and cell function test so this four kind of four category of test can be done simple viability then is apoptosis then is cell proliferation and last one very important cell function test this four category of test can be done in case of you know cell to see the cell viability and vitality the first one okay one set is given so this one the first one this one is i have written in a very you know short way dye exclusion test okay this is a dye exclusion test in simple viability there are dye take up test but dye you know but here i have only discussed about dye exclusion the details of the test i will discuss in another video okay so today i'm just giving a brief idea about all these tests so dye exclusion test means so here different types of different color dry used be used to be used like tri uh, trypan blue it is in blue in color nigrosin eosin erythrocin b erythrocin must be some you know some kind of red some red in color so this kind of dye can be used so what is the purpose of using the dye so if a cell uh, membrane is intact if you are in a cell culture or in a cell suspension if you are adding a dye okay that dye will only be encode uh, that dye will be coated that dye will coat the cell membrane only the cell membrane will not allow any dye from outside to penetrate it but if a cell is ruptured if a cell is dead so the cell membrane membrane is damaged or ruptured so from that ruptured area the dye will enter inside the cell so the dye the cell will take up the dye if the cell membrane is damaged so damaged cell membrane suggests the cell is dead so if you see the cell culture after adding the dye in the microscope you would see like you would see this kind of some so this cell means the color uh, the dye is in the outer side but the inner side there is no dye because cell membrane is intact so it is not being able to penetrate but this one is whole blue or the color is has you know has been uh, spreaded all over the cell because all over the cytosolic area because the cell membrane has ruptured and the uh, dye has penetrated but if this cell is under the apoptotic process after few minutes or so or few time it this its cell membrane will be ruptured but in the dye exclusion test you won't be able to understand that so in that case we can go for apoptosis test or apoptotic cycle test so here what is being done so here it is being written that the cells which are in apoptotic the cells which are in apoptotic cycles or apoptotic cells 
which may give positive result in dye exclusion test. But in case of apoptosis test, what is being done? That a uh, particular type of, uh, you would say, uh, a particular type of dye that is called annexin is being used. Why? Because this annexin attached with a particular type of agent that is called phosphotidyl serine. Phosphotidyl serine. Annexin attached with phosphotidyl serine. Now, what is phosphotidyl serine? Phosphotidyl serine is a type of you know, glycolipid which used to be inside the cell, in the inner side of the cell. But whenever the <coughs> during the apoptosis process, this uh, particular glycolipid used to go out, used to go outside of the cell by using a transporter or enzyme, you would say, flippase. F-L-I-P-A-S-E, flippers. So it is just flipping. Flipping means, you know, the upside down, not like that. So that phosphatidyl serine is going outside of cell membrane, which used to be inside. So that annexin used to attach to phosphatidyl serine. And in the flow, by use of flow cytometry, where flow cytometry is a phenomenon where the cell's suspension uh, used to pass through a beam that is laser beam and each cell gets attracted or you know hits the uh, uh, this laser beam and uh, the the image of the cell used to be in the digital media right so this is the way you would able to see what is the you know what is the condition of the cell how much viable it is whether it is in the apoptotic process or not Right, because phosphatidyl serine, serine in the apoptotic phase will be outside in, of the cell membrane. The next one is cell proliferation. This one is a very simple. Allow cell to grow and propagate. Dead or apoptotic cell does not proliferate. Inexpensive and simple. This test, cell proliferation test, is very very simple test. Because what you are doing, if you are, if you want to know the cells are viable or not. What you will do, you will make a suitable culture for the particular type of cell, you will let it grow or proliferate. If it is proliferating, if it is growing, then it is in a good condition. But if it is not growing, then it must be dead or in the apoptotic cycle. Because apoptotic, the cells which are in the apoptotic cycle cannot proliferate or cannot grow or cannot divide. Right, so this is one of the proof, and this is a very simple and inexpensive method where any kind of sophisticated instrument you don't have to use. But in case of this one, you do have to use flow cytometry, which is a sophisticated instrument. This one is very simple and is it can be done very easily. The next one is cell function test. Very, very, very important. So, in case of cell function study, means you are seeing whether the cell is having its functionality or not. This is generally being done to see uh, the function, to check the functionality of stem cells. Now, what is stem cells? Stem cells, I'm sure you have a little bit idea. I'm just, okay, if you don't have, I'm telling it to you right now. Stem cells are those cells from where any kind of cells can be grown. Any kind of cell. That could be uh, adrenocytes, that could be adipocytes, that could be any kind of cells which has a capability to develop, I'm so sorry, to develop into any kind of cells, right? So for the stem cells, functional assay is needed. It can, it is being done, this uh, cell functionality test is being done via trinilage differentiation test for mesenchymal stem cells to check whether it can function and differentiate. This is a type of... Uh, this trinilage differential test, this is a type of test which is being done to see whether the, that uh, cell is having that function to differentiate. So what is differentiation? So for an example, if a cell is growing suddenly, suddenly there are few cells, okay? Suddenly this cell, this particular cell is being dead. So then what will happen, this, this cell will be replaced by 
a stem cell maybe it is a stem cell by a stem cell this will come in this way and it will form two cell two similar kind of cell it will form one and maybe it is coming in this side and this is two the number of cells being same so one is progenitor cell one is progenitor cell another one is reserved cell so progenitor cell will take the place of the damaged cell and the reserve one reserved cell will be in the storage you would say so that process of taking the place of damaged cell by the stem cell is being called differentiation so that differentiation function is being checked by using the cell function study by via trinilate differentiate differential test so these are some you know few uh, you know test of cell viability and vitality so there are different classification under all these things there could be a detailed uh, uh, lecture or discussion so this was a very uh, you know this was a you know brief descript uh, description about this test so i will come up with a video later uh, to discuss about discuss into more detail about those test so today's video up to this i hope uh, you have understood and i am also hoping that you are liking my videos uh, if not if there is any suggestion i will request you to put that in the comment section because that is very important for me to improvise in my video if you have not subscribed my channel pharmacy guide please do it and share it with your friends your colleagues i'm sure they will also like it thank you so much for watching pharmacy guide